Now it's time for a classic. One of those decades old incidents that still inspires head scratching to this day. As we say in the business, this story has legs, even though the alleged creature you're about to see does not. It's December 12, 1965. Robert Le Charek is on a motorboat with his family near Hook Island in Queensland, Australia. While crossing the bay, Robert's wife notices a strange object from the bottom of the lagoon. The family starts snapping pictures. The photo shows what appears to be a massive sea creature that resembles a terrifyingly large tadpole. The serpentine creature is dark black in color and can be easily seen beneath the clear waters of the lagoon. It looks to be at least 30 feet long based on the proportional size of the boater in the background, and it seems to be coiled in the shape of an S. The Sarex say they weren't terrified, they were fascinated. They decided to jump in the water and get a closer look at whatever this thing was. It wasn't moving, so they assumed that it was dead. Journalist Aaron McCarthy tells us that serpents like this are a popular feature of the local Australian lore. There's a creature from the mythology of Australia's indigenous peoples called the rainbow serpent. When you see a rainbow in the sky in Australia, that's said to be the rainbow serpent traveling from one water hole to another. So is the rainbow serpent more than a myth? Could the myth have been inspired by something rare, but real? So one theory that has been floated is that perhaps we're looking at a prehistoric creature, specifically a mosasaur, which lived in oceans around the world from between 82 and 66 million years ago. Technically, mosasaurs weren't dinosaurs. They're more closely related to lizards and snakes. As such, they were able to unhinge their jaws to eat prey nearly the size of their bodies. It seems ridiculous to think an extinct sea species could still be swimming, but McCarthy doesn't think so. There was a particular type of fish, coelacanth, that was thought to be extinct that was then rediscovered in the 1930s. So it's not unheard of for science to believe that a creature has gone extinct and for it to pop back up. So we could be looking at maybe a new species or maybe a creature that we thought was extinct but actually isn't. The people on the boat later surmised that the creature may have been wounded by a ship's propeller in deeper water and had decided to take refuge in the shallow lagoon to recover. They said it had eyes with slit-shaped pupils on the top of its head, and its whole body was smooth with no fins or spines. But what will our experts see? First off, could the photo have been doctored? So from the EXIF analysis, no signatures of Photoshopping or any third-party editing software was detected of this particular image. Now, whether or not the print photography was manipulated prior to production of this image, I, I can't say with certainty. But digitally, nothing has occurred to these images. So then what is it? We turn to marine biologist Che Congo, who's pretty sure this is not a mosasaur. Mosasaurs were very dynamic predators. They were probably very fast. They had four flippers that you would see here. And they had a bit of a long neck and a smaller head with really sharp teeth. Also, mosasaurs were typically known to be deeper sea animals. They didn't spend any time on land, and so they probably wouldn't be in shallow water like this. So I don't think this is some kind of a living uh, predatory animal that we think of as prehistoric. So could it possibly be a large eel? Eels are definitely dark in color. They can be very large, but their bodies are much more tubular in shape, and they wouldn't have such a distinct large head on them. In addition, to have an eel like this up in the surf where you couldn't define any facial features would be very unusual as well. An eel would have really distinct eyes and nostrils that we'd probably be able to see here. So I would probably deduce that this is not an eel. Also, you don't actually see any disturbance or other signs of movement. So if this were a dynamic object or animal, you would see probably bubbles or some ripples on the water. and you really don't see anything, especially for how shallow this water is. Could it be something that was never even alive in the first place? If I had to guess as to what we're looking at, I think this looks like a really two-dimensional object, like black plastic, that has been placed on the bottom of wherever this was taken. One problem there, though. Some maintain that the figure in the water is so clear, we'd be able to identify a piece of plastic if that's really what this was. 
It's a very clear image, and the fun thing about it is your brain can't quite make it out. It's hard to tell what you're looking at, and that's where a lot of the mystery comes from in the Hook Island Sea Monster image. We're going to call this an unexplained object. The evidence still begets the question, is this a real sea monster lurking off the coast of Australia, or just another convincing fake? But this is hardly the only suspected creature off Australia's shores. The country even has its own Loch Ness monster called the Hawkesbury Monster, which is believed to be between 23 and 79 feet long. So if you're ever in the waters off the coast of the land down under, keep an eye out. <laughs>